As an impacted family member and the witness to my son's shooting, I'd like to ask the prospective police, uh, new police chief, what is his uh, position on abolishing the 1033 program? In hopes to um, demilitarize the police because they are more of an occupying force than peacekeepers. And, and it's to help to ensure public safety. So that's very important to me because um, I, I feel like the only way that we're going to be able to have um, safety in the community is by abolishing or um, demilitarizing de uh, these police. There was a call for help from my son. They made ready their weapons prior to coming to the scene on a mental health crisis for someone calling for a suicide. So before they even drove up to the scene, it states in there that they um, parked around the corner because someone gave them the authority to do this and they um, had their, gut, their weapons ready. And one of those weapons was an AR-15, a military st style weapon. So they had no, no intention of coming to help save my son's life. Within like minutes, um, with me trying to de-escalate the situation and being their first point of contact, that's exactly what they did. They started shooting towards my son in front of me and my daughter and her, her little brother. So that's one of the main reasons why um, I am wanting to abolish that program. And it was, it was very traumatizing. And honestly, I'm traumatized from that event um, for, the rest, for the rest of my life. That's something that you can't unlift. I was very disheartened with Eddie Garcia. So I would, I would want to know with this police chief, what is he going to do with investigations? You know, is he going to remain objective? Um, and I feel like Eddie was very biased and he stood on the side of the police um, instead of standing on side of the community to do the right thing. And he failed, he failed me and my family in the investigation of my son's death. And they ruled it a suicide, by the way, but he was killed. It's very important for the police chief to listen to families that are directly in, impacted by police violence because we actually have the lived experience to have knowledge in regards to it, un, uh, knowledge in regards to either investigations, failed investigations. And um, unfortunately, we are marginalized. They don't want to take the, the impacted families. I feel like we're being ignored. So it's important for them to listen to us. I mean, that's one of the worst things you can do. I mean, we lived through some, some, some trauma and we're just basically kicked to the side, like right along with our family members, right? They dehumanize our loved ones and they turn around and dehumanize our families um, instead of um, listening to us. The next police chief should listen to all family members, especially if it's going to be creating any type of policy within the community to protect the community. I really believe that.